are, but I have three dogs. And even just this morning, trying to get ready to get on this with the three dogs was so challenging. And I, I reflect on Emily and all the kiddos and I'm like, I don't even know how you do it. So for Thank all you, you mamas, hats off to you guys. But I wanted to just show you guys, it's 6.15 here. I am an early bird. So for me, it's not that big of a deal to be awake, but I wanted to show you at 6.15 in the morning, all of the Young Living products that I've already used just to start my day. And I thought I would just kind of dive in and start our conversation around that. So of course I took a shower and I washed my hair with my shampoo and my conditioner. I love the lavender mint. And you know, because I'm in the US, I might have products that you guys don't have. Um, Young Living actually sent us the diamonds for every Christmas they send an amazing gift and they sent us this bath set so they sent me the uh, morning start bath and shower gel. So I used that this morning, of course I brushed my teeth with my thieves, I used the valor deodorant. I use the bloom. Do you guys have the bloom line there? I use the bloom line I use the the um, I think it's called I don't I'm not great with all the names the brilliance. I love this. I love, love, love this. But before I put that on, I use, let's see if I can grab it. Do you guys, I don't know if you're allowed to have this there, the CBD beauty serum. Do you have that? No. Okay. Sorry. I was going to try not to talk about the products you don't have, but anyway, I just wanted to show you my regimen. And then I put my lotion on in the shower. Of course I use my face wash. Um, with my, I use my hand soap. I don't know if you guys bought the squeaky clean set. I don't know if you had access to it, but I'm obsessed with these bottles um, and the dish soap because my dogs, oh, I don't even have my thieves giant spray bottle. My dogs have, I have a puppy. So my puppies made accidents all over the house already this morning. I use my mask. I got dressed up for you guys. You might not be able to tell, but I have my Young Living mascara on. I don't wear makeup. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna get dressed up for you guys. I used my little brush to put my foundation on, which I forgot to put in here, my Young Living foundation. But, and then I have my diffuser going. Uh, I have two different diffusers going with all these different oils. And of course, of course, of course I had my nitro. And my lipstick. And so I just kind of wanted to start our conversation off this morning with um, like you guys thinking about in your day, you know, are you truly living in the space of young living and just thinking about that right now as you, you know, I imagine and Emily, I should ask you like, is everybody on this call looking to build a business or do we have some customers too? These are all business partners. Okay, awesome. And so in building a business, obviously, the, the better you're going to build your business is the more you're in love with the products, the more you know the products, the more you can speak to the products, right? Now, I don't actually, I'm not one of the ones, you guys might be all into the massive education about every single thing. I'm not. I just, like I would at the grocery store, I don't do massive education on the products I buy at the grocery store other than are they organic, are they clean? Um, but so I recommend things all the time that I love, right? And so same with Young Living, it's going to be harder to recommend the products in Young Living that you're not using if you don't know if you love them or not. I mean, you can speak to them and you can hear other people's stories, sure. But I just wanted you guys to kind of think about that as you start our day here together. Like, how much are you a product of the product? And so if it comes up for you like, oh, well, you know, I can't afford it, then you might want to actually take a look at that story and start thinking about how you can begin to afford using some of the products that will allow you to open the doors more to building more of a business. And so what I mean by that is like, hey, you know what, you guys, uh, 10 years ago, I was literally looking at, move. actually, no, that's not true. It was about 13, 14 years ago. I've been doing network marketing full time for, for 13 and a half years. And um, I was looking at moving in with my mom. Like I was as broke as broke could be. So I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like to think like, I can't even afford to get the starter kit, but I put it on my credit card and it was the best investment I ever made. And I learned that in order to earn, you have to be able to spend, you just do. So, um, so here's some tips for you on that is like, hey, what could you cut out in order to afford maybe getting some products that you haven't tried yet, right? Like maybe you don't get the glass of wine or maybe you don't go um, to, you don't buy the Netflix pack binge or I don't know. I don't know what uh, some, what I do know is that 
when something comes up for sale, like a pretty dress and we want it, we buy it, right? So I'm just having you guys think about your mindset here and building a business. And in building a business, it does, it costs money to build a business. And so sometimes I think in Young Living, especially because the cost is so inexpensive to start here compared to other companies, um, we take that for granted and we think, well, I bought my kit. Now I don't, I'm not going to be investing more to grow my business. And that's a mindset I'm going to encourage all of you to kind of shift on and think about like, no, I need to be making investments in order to grow my business. So that just kind of came to me as I was getting ready this morning. And um, yeah, and now Emily, let's dive in and you can ask some questions. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I just want to start. I know that people have been thinking of questions, but Richard said something last night that I wonder if you could kind of fluff out for us a little bit. He talked about your onboarding process and how you have a system with some videos that everybody plugs their team into. Can you just um, maybe tell us what those videos are? Sure. Well, it's and, kind of funny. Yeah, it's kind of funny because um, we we actually have been on a little bit of a pause with that because we're and I'm not saying that this is the way to go so I don't want you guys going on a pause um but I'm I I mean I've been kind of waiting a little bit on the direction of young living because our videos and stuff weren't exactly the 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 way that young living is headed and so what we've been doing to onboard people right now actually is we're using life steps the app life steps I don't know if you guys are familiar with it but it's phenomenal and so the way we onboard everyone right now is we have every new member get the life steps free app and take the assessment because really you want everybody to fall in love with the products, right? You know, story after story after story after story talks about how I, I had no idea you could build a business and I fell in love with the products. Now, having said that, that's not the route we take, just having people fall in love with the products. We always let people know that there is an option to earn income as well. But our first goal is to get people so excited about the products that they make their first three months of their essential rewards orders. Because if people stay on essential rewards for three months, statistically, they will stay on essential rewards for a lifetime. Statistically, like not everybody, but if you can get people to fall in love enough to place an essential rewards order for three months in a row, you can know that most likely you'll have a lifetime customer. So that Life Steps app is so valuable in helping people see what products that they can get a hold of that they might not know. And then like it gives you this assessment, right? So it tells you the things you need. I know for me, when I'm told like from any of those things I fill out ever online, I'm like, oh, I got to get that, right? So um so this is where you guys can get really good at, and it's free. That's what's so amazing. So if you guys can get really good at recommending to every new customer, every brand new person, hey, you know what? I'd love to get you set up on this app because you get a free assessment. And then there's also um, an unboxing of your kit that you can watch. So, so that is what we're doing right now to onboard people. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, who would like to go first? Megan. I'll be I'm shy. You. Yeah, girl, you know. <laughs> Kimmy, I would just love to hear your story with joining and living and getting interested in, in the business and just how that kind of landed for you and how it all started out. I find it so fascinating how we all have similar stories yet different. Sure. So my story, I'm going to take you guys on a little journey of my big picture story because Young Living is not my first network marketing company. And um, having said that, I have to tell you that I actually have massive, massive insight into all things network marketing. And I can tell you that sometimes it can feel like this shiny thing over here is better or that shiny thing is better. And having been in some shiny things, I can tell you that what we have, there is nothing, there is nothing that tops what we have. Yes, we have our problems in Young Living, but I got to tell you, every single company has their problems. There is no company without problems. So, um, you know, as I was watching Richard's fireside chat, did all of you guys have a chance to hear that yesterday by chance? 
So as I was watching, if you didn't get to hear it, maybe Emily or Megan, maybe you guys can share it with the team. Because as I was watching Richard's fireside chat and he started talking about the fact that we get to go visit the farms. Um, and actually I had access to read a document of Gary Young speaking at a, a medical symposium, um, like two years into him starting to grow his essential oils in St. Mary's. And I, I really got an insight into most network marketing companies, you guys are started. And then they're like, what product can we plug into the company? Young Living was started on a passion of Gary that was way before the network marketing arm of it. And so the, the purity that we have here and the, the mission, it's not um, hype, it's truth. And so for me, that is just amazing. But so let me just take you back to my, my, my roots. Um, so, you know, like 13 years ago, as I said, I was really struggling financially. I was looking at moving in with my mom. I was, I was a single mom. I was like just needing an extra $500 a month. And my sister introduced me to the concept of network marketing. And I was working 60 plus hours a week. I didn't think I had time for another thing on my plate. And um, I started using the product from the company that she shared with me. Big, big, golden nugget there she shared a product with me and um write that down and then if I don't get back to it ask me to, to talk about it later because it's important um and so then I had a great experience with what she shared with me and because of that I was like wow I want to take a look at what this is all about and because of that I read a book that talked about going on your lunch break and meeting with people during your lunch break and because of that I thought well gosh I have 30 minutes in my day on my lunch break and so that's what I did I started meeting people every single day on my lunch break 30 minutes a day, every day for three months. And because I did that consistently, I actually catapulted my network marketing career. I didn't know. I didn't, you don't know what you don't know. I didn't know that everybody in network marketing wasn't doing that. I thought that was the norm. I, I'm like a rule follower. So I jumped in, I did what they told me to do. And I had enormous, tremendous success. And because of that, I was actually able to quit a job I thought I'd be at for like 15 to 20 more years of my life with no real upward mobility. Um, and so it, it was like amazing. I mean, it was like a fairy tale. Now, I want you guys to hear that I had done this personal development workshop right before I said yes to network marketing. So my mindset was like really in this pristine place. And I was hungry, hungry, hungry. If any of you have ever felt the hunger of thinking you're going to have to move out of your house, you know how scary that is. And instead of me being paralyzed, I let that hunger drive me. And so it was like everything aligned for me. And then about four and a half years into my career, I was a top earner in the company. And uh, literally overnight, literally overnight, my company, uh, decided to merge with another company. And we went from having one product. We only had one product. Can you guys imagine having one product? <laughs> we had one product and all of a sudden we were kind of like Young Living. There were hundreds and hundreds of products that were completely opposite of my belief. And um, it was it was a really scary, interesting, weird time all wrapped into one, but the best gift of that. And so here's something you guys can think about. Like when you go through something that's really hard, really challenging, really scary, you have to trust that there is some gold in that experience. You have to trust that it's happening to you for a reason, right? It's happening for you, not to you. And I truly believe that all of that heartache and angst happened so that I could meet Richard. Because through all of that, Richard and I had a um, coaching relationship already, but that coaching relationship grew into um, talking every day about what was going on, which then grew into us really getting to know each other, which grew into us falling in love. And so um, I, I found myself all of a sudden uh, totally changing companies and really being excited and passionate about building with Richard because I loved his vision. So I then moved into a whole new company. So I started at zero, went to the top, then started at zero with Richard. You know, I think people think probably, oh, well, she, you know, 
she got together with Richard. So she probably was given an organization. No, I, I built from the ground up in that company. So I have built very full time now in three companies, in my first company, in Richard's company. And then what happened for us with Richard's company is that it was an amazing, beautiful, we like to call it a boutique network marketing company. Um, you know, one of the great things about owning a company is that you get to make the rules and you get to fix things when they're not working. And one of the worst things about owning a company is you don't sleep ever because you have, even though as a, as a distributor, we have people entrusting in us as leaders, right? We still, it's still each of our own businesses. And so when you own a company though, every decision you make is going to affect thousands of people's lives and it never stops. And neither does the in pouring of cash to keep a company running. So, you know, when, when you guys look at Young Living and they might make a change in the comp plan and you're like, well, why are they doing this? Um, you have no idea about how much goes in financially to help us build our business. It's like a sieve. It's like millions and millions and millions and millions, millions you never ever see any return on. And so we knew that for us personally, we would never get to where Young Living was. And we started, um, you know, Adam Green reached out to Richard to be in a four-year career um, custom edition. It was the first Young Living custom edition. And um, because of that, they developed this amazing relationship. And so all of a sudden, Young Living just kept popping up for Richard and myself. Richard was coaching Adam, and then he started coaching other Young Living leaders, and all these people from Young Living started coming to our retreats. And then I started coaching a bunch of people from Young Living. And we just were like blown away. We were blown away by the I guess naivete was a is a good word. Uh, the the purity, the 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 non network marketing network marketing company, the amount of income people were making, and they really didn't even know how they were making it. They just were so excited and passionate about the products, and we knew that in our lifetime, we could never, number one, get to where Young Living was, never. And we could never be able to give our team what Young Living was providing for their members. And so we just, we flew out to Salt Lake City. We met with Gary and Mary and um, the whole corporate staff. We got to bring our entire organization of leaders. It was about 50. We brought 50 top leaders and really we all made the decision together. So again, remember how I said, I believe that when you're going through all this crazy hard stuff, that there is a reason. And so number one, I met Richard when my company kind of turned upside down. But number two, I got to, with Richard, help take our team through the same experience of merging that I went through in a very disastrous, heartbreaking way. We got to do it in a beautiful, collaborative way with our organization. And so, um, yeah, so we joined Young Living and we just have never looked back. I mean, you know, yeah, there, there have been challenges and, but there's always going to be challenges everywhere you go. So, um, yeah, we're passionately wildly in love with being here. And I feel like COVID pandemic, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I feel like it, it was kind of like a pause for all of us, even though, you know, what's amazing to me is watching that during, of course, in the first three months, it was insane, right? Our sales were like <laughs> through the roof. And then all of a sudden it was like, where is everybody? But you know what? I feel like it was an opportunity for all of us to just kind of take a pause, a breather. And I feel like now um, it's time to like come back in full swing and like pick up and take Young Living to that next level that we all can take it to. Um, so there was something I said taken. Oh, I know. So um so I said that my sister shared a sample with me. Well, one of the things that I find curious about Young Living is that, you know, when we joined, what we were taught is not to really share samples. So we never shared anything and people would buy their stuff. And it made sense to me because I got to tell you that a long time ago, someone gave me a bottle of Thieves and they didn't tell me what to do with it. And it literally sat in my little travel bag for like two years. I had no idea how to use it. And I finally threw it away. And I remember thinking like, how does Young Living, I don't even understand. Like I had this for two years and never used it. How do, how do people build a business there? 
And so when I learned in the, when I started here, like, oh, we don't do sampling, I thought, well, that's really smart. And, but I got to tell you, I've changed my mind on that because in my original company, when I was given a sample and I had a life changing experience, I, it's the only reason that I decided to say yes to network marketing. It's the only reason. Had I not tried the product, had my experience, I wouldn't have said yes. So I want to speak to you guys a little bit on that idea of sampling. I don't know how much you sample, if you sample, but if you do sample, I would encourage you to only give like a day or a two day sample. Don't give a whole bottle. Don't give enough so that they'll never need to get their own, right? Give them just enough so that they want to go out and get more themselves. And also don't um, uh, like slingshot your samples out, hoping that people will use them. Because in my old company, that became this crazy thing. People would just start sending out all these samples. Someone would be like, I don't even know who sent this to me. <laughs> what is this? Where did it come from? So make sure that your sample is something that people want that they know how to use and that they're going to use it. And then that you follow along with them to help guide them to the next step after they're done with their sample. So that's just like a little side thought. Thank you. I know that you're doing the feelings kit. Uh, you're walking through the feelings kit with customers right now. And that seems to be, Erica says, that's a really powerful thing that's happening. Sending out mini kits to people and then walking it through like a mini class, right? Yeah, well, um, we actually, the feelings kit, we're always trying new things. That's another thing too. You guys don't be scared to try new things um, and keep looking for things that work. There are going to be lots of things that don't work. We've had lots of things we've tried that don't work. And so it's like, okay, we tried that. It didn't work. Let's try something new. And then when you find something that works, keep it. We actually started doing a sample, um, a sample once a month class, which we've now decided to do every other month um, where we, gosh, I'm trying to even think of, because we've been off for a month and we're now we're in the feelings kit. So we don't send a little sampling of the feelings kit. We're doing with all of our customers and members who wanted to a 30 day feelings detox right now, which has been fabulous. Um, and I'm happy to give you guys like, if you want to go look in our a whole lot more than oils Facebook page, you can probably see a lot of the stuff that we do. Um, but what is our sampling kit? It's like, um, I'm going to have to go look at what it is. I can't even think of it right now. But yes, we had a five day sample. And so what we definitely got people to buy into wanting to do the sample. Oh, I know there's this really cool. I don't have it right here with me, but there's this little thing that you can get from, um, life sciences that has this little booklet and three little oil vials that you put your oils in. So we had three oils. We used peppermint, lavender, and a mystery oil, which was either stress away or peace and calming. And then we walked them through how to use them. And then we gave a sample of Ningxia. So we had a Ningxia party day. And you know, here's the thing, you guys, all of this, just like sharing a video or just like sharing a book or just like sharing a little sample of oil, it all takes follow-up. So there are going to be those rare unicorns who are like after day two, oh my gosh, what is this? They're the emotional people like me who jump right in a hundred percent and they're like, I'm in, they don't need to know any information. Right. But there's also going to be the people who are like, you know what? They need a little bit more of a drop. They need a little bit more of a drop. They need a little bit more like an, an, a video. That's why having a toolkit is so valuable. Having a whole bunch of resources. Now, I don't say this to overwhelm you. I say this to like, okay, figure out and hone in on, you know, your top five go-to um, little difference makers. So again, remember, if your guys' goal is, how many of you guys have, type in the chat here, how many of you have a goal of getting to Royal Crown Diamond? Or actually better than that, how, type in the chat what your, what your goal is. What is your goal, like your ultimate goal in Young Living? I'd love for each of you to type it in. And it doesn't have to be Royal Crown Diamond, okay? It could be that you want to hit silver and that's your ultimate goal. You want to get a free trip to the farm in Utah. Okay, awesome. Diamond, fabulous. So whatever your goal is. I want you to look at the money amount that you make for that goal. And I want you to ask yourself, have I ever made that amount of money monthly in my life? And that's not to discourage you. 
It's to encourage you. It's to have you think about, hey, this is serious cashola. Serious cashola doesn't come from um, happenstance. It doesn't come from like a hobby. It comes from, I'm going to study as if I'm going to university. I am going to read articles. I am going to listen to mindset books. I am going to do the feelings detox every day for 30 days. Like what's amazing to me, you guys, is that we declare we want these things, but yet we don't actually take the action that is needed as if we'd invested $200,000 in university. I don't know what university costs in Canada, but it's insanely expensive in, in America. And you go through university and then most people don't even get a job when they get out, right? If you went through the Young Living University where you every single day woke up and listened for 30 minutes to something on mindset, and then you, for 30 minutes or an hour, made calls or did Facebook posts or got out, did a class, whatever it is, right, that you're doing the do of income producing activities. And then you did 30 minutes of inspiring your team, right? All of these things. Like if you did all of this every day, you guys, you would be rarefied air and you would be doing what it really takes to get to silver, gold, platinum, and diamond and above. Because when you get a silver income of, you know, let's say $4,000 a month, every single month, when you get that income, $4,000 a month, every single month, no matter what, when your daughter gets hit by a car, God forbid, and you can't show up, but that $4,000 a month is coming in every single month, that is worth millions, right? It's worth millions. So we, I think we just put, we, we let ourselves off the hook, I, including me. Like, I'm not judging you guys. I'm saying I do it too. We let ourselves off the hook really easily because it's so inexpensive to get started here. But if we took it seriously, like we had to have bought a franchise, like we had to pay half a million dollars, we would not take it as lightly, right? And, and I think we like to convince ourselves, like, I don't know how, and it's not true. How many of you guys, how many people here have never enrolled someone? Is there anybody here who has never enrolled someone? So if you've each enrolled someone, okay, Naomi, how long have you been building? Let me see where Naomi is. I'm looking for Naomi. Okay. Oh, you have your camera on. How long have you been, are you brand new, Naomi? Yes, so, I'm brand new. Okay, well, so you get a hall pass. Um, so if you've enrolled someone, then you know what to do. Now, that doesn't mean that you've enrolled a builder, and it doesn't mean you've enrolled a unicorn builder, and unicorn builders are unicorns. How often have you seen a unicorn, right? So imagine rather than looking for the unicorns, you just love on those you've enrolled, you keep enrolling more of those same people you've enrolled and someday a unicorn will show up, but you don't care if the unicorn shows up because you've got enough regular people like us, you don't have to have the unicorn. If the unicorn comes, fabulous. So I think, you know, one of the things in my opinion that, um, the whole influencer Instagram thing has been to our detriment is that people think that's normal. And they're like, I wish I had that, or I'm going to become that. And that is not normal. And in order to become an Instagram influencer, you have to already have followers, like, or you build your followers for years. It doesn't just say, it's not like, oh, I start promoting about CBD and orange and whatever. And all of a sudden I have 50 million followers, right? So I got to tell you guys that the best thing in my opinion is, and now I, are you guys, is Canada still totally on lockdown? You're not allowed to get in front of people. Uh, no, they're opening it up now. We can have small outside gatherings, 50, up to 50 people. So I'm finding people are starving. So I had friends over no intention of trying to recruit them. Actually, my neighbor down the way, she's the ex-wife of someone very famous in Hollywood. I was like, she doesn't need the money. I'm never going to try to bring her into my business. But they came over every day while they were visiting and did the feelings detox with me. And they ended up buying $1,000 of products. So they're now in my like, ooh, I get to 
um, harvest and love on them and, you know, let them fall in love with young living. They're in that phase. And then I had some other people come over and visit who same thing. Like they just saw the way I live. I showed you guys the way I live. It's not fake. It's real. This is how I live. I live young living. I love it. It is who I am. And so when people are around me, they're like, oh my gosh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Right? So right now I'm finding that, you know, people are like curious. I'm not out there saying, and, and you can be like, yeah. And you know what? Like, do you want to do this? And we can do this together as a business. Like you can do that part too. The people who came over to me um, have a massive bowl of oils. <laughs> I do. Actually, I had to change it up because it was. I was finding that massive bowl was leaking. Um, so, anyway, um, I, I'm just trying to share with you guys that, like, if you can get people in your sphere, get people in front of you, start having classes, make them fun. Um, you know introduce the fact that, oh my gosh, you know what? If you really love this stuff, I can show you how also you could get your products for free. I can also show you how to make some extra cashola if you're interested. And then you get to read their vibe. So it's not like it's absolutely the same with every single person I'm in front of, right? I'm not like, I've got my little routine and I'm going to do it this way with every single person. I don't do that. I read their energy. I figure out, and you might be like, but I don't know how to read their energy. I'm not sure. I don't believe you. You do. You know how to, you know how to read cues, right? It's like going to a cocktail party and you're having a conversation. Do you know how to have a conversation at a cocktail party? And if you don't, then, Hey, guess what? This is your education. This is what you get to start studying, how to be conversational, how to listen, how to ask questions, how to truly care about what's going on for the person in front of me. Right? Um, what's your favorite way to make a class fun? Oh my gosh, Trisha, I just like having fun. I think for me, I like being silly. I just don't take myself seriously. And so I think about, and, and you know, if you guys are moms, you all know how to do that because you got to be fun with your kiddos all the time, right? You got to be silly with your kids. You got to think up games. You got to think up creativity, uh, teachers, holy cow. If any of you are teachers, you guys are gifted in making things exciting to learn, right? So that's what I think about. I think about how can I get people intrigued and interested to learn now? Having said that, the formula for like my class would be the same for oils, would be the same for the feelings kit, would be the same for Ningxia. I mean, we're always kind of like trying to make it a little bit better, but it would be the same in a simple, is simple. So I actually kind of went down this road before too about being a aromatherapist, knowing everything about everything about everything. I am here to tell you guys, the simpler you keep it, the better. People do not show up needing to know what every single ingredient, where it came from, what it means. They go, their eyes literally go like this. Like I've been to certain classes of people's and I'm like, oh my gosh, the people in the audience are going to think they could never, ever, ever, ever do that. And your goal is to get people to say, I can do that right? Your goal is to get people to say, I can do that. Not, oh, she's so good. I, I could never be like her. Or I feel intimidated or, oh my gosh, that's so much knowledge of essential oils. That seems like years and years and years. And so anytime someone in your team is like, I just need to get ready to get ready to get ready. You say, Hey, Hey, let me help you. Let's do this together. I'm going to come over and I'm going to show you just how easy this is. And we're going to do this together. Let's sit down. Let's open up our oil box. Let's take out one at a time. Let's literally read the card in the, you know, there's a in life steps. And if you guys don't have life steps, I encourage you to go get life steps. And if you don't have the paid part, I think it's $8 a month. I mean, it is the cheapest tool that you can write off ever. And in that life steps app, there's a presentation called KISSED, K-I-S-S-E-D, KISSED. Um, so if you just go into the search bar under resources in life steps app, KISSED, it just shows a gal doing the very basic, class. I would encourage all of you to, if you're not doing basic, I would encourage you to get to basics, basic, basic, basic. Um, I feel like we all have all, like we all will have, oh, good life steps. I think that's good. Um, yeah, I do wake up with the right mindset. How do I wake up with the right mindset though? You guys, um, that's, that's like study. That's not just, I mean, I, I guess I am a little bit lucky in the sense that I have always been that kind of a person who wakes up 
happy. I do. My daughter is not. My daughter wakes up, you know, I can remember her as a baby. Like she'd wake up grumpy. I'd be like, what the heck? What's wrong? You just didn't know. But so there are those kinds of personalities. And so if you are more glass half empty, it's going to take you a little bit more work, right? But it's not, you can't not change it. You can change it. You can change being glass half empty to being glass half full. That's what's so fabulous and fantastic about this journey, you guys, is you can truly change your thoughts. Um, so, so I have a phone. I'm going to show you something. I don't use them all, but let me see if it tells me. Um, so it tells me, I think I have more than this. It says I have 2,600 notes. I keep notes. I don't know if you guys have an iPhone, but I literally keep notes about everything. I write down, if I see something interesting, I keep a note. If I have a thought, I keep a note. If I um, hear a good book, I, I, don't, I don't even have an organized fashion for it. That's how my brain works. I'm just like, okay, putting it in the notes. Um, so notes, notes, notes. So like I listened to the, um, I don't know if you guys, watched the, I don't know if this was a United States only thing because it was really weirdly advertised, but there was a, there was a paid for event last weekend. Did you guys see that by any chance with Young Living? It was called Discover YL. And um, there was, I'm going to actually, I'll get you, Emily, the link to this talk of the, one of the newest diamonds, her name, and Richard spoke about her last night on his call too. Her name is Lizzie. And um, first of all, she hit diamond in a time where most people are whining and complaining that things are super slow. So she is exactly the person you want to follow. If you start listening to all of the people who are talking about how hard it is and this isn't working, guess what's going to show up for you? But if you start globbing on to the people who are winning and succeeding, guess what's going to happen for you? And if you, and this is a good thing for you guys also to think about, like, when a problem arises, are you the first to post it on Facebook in your chat, chat so everyone hears the complaint? Or do you just go directly to the source who can help you with a solution, right? Like always come with a solution when there's a problem. So this gal, Lizzie, you know, she's young, but she is studied. She's studied. And so I sat there listening to her talk with my notebook. I am always learning. Like I am never shy of knowing something new. Once you guys feel like you already know everything, you might as well hang up your hat and go to your grave, right? So, so as far as her sharing, she talked about this book that she's reading. And I'm like, oh my gosh, well, I'm getting that book because this gal got her stuff going on. So she talks about the book Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. So I immediately went, got it on Audible and I've been listening to it and I'll probably listen to it a hundred times. Um, I can show you even my library in Audible. It's like uh, Think and Grow Rich. Um, let's see, what does this say? Uh, business Brilliant. Something You Should Know, Mindset Mentors, Psycho-Cybernetics, Stephen Covey's Principles of Sense-Centered sense Leadership. Yes. So this is my library, okay? My, I, and I'm not telling you not to read fiction. I don't have time to read fiction because I thrive on all of this and I have a mission to get to Royal Crown Diamond and I am not anywhere near Royal Crown Diamond. So I have a long, long, long way to go. And so for you guys, I kind of like ask yourself, where do I spend my time? What am I willing to do? What am I willing to um, put, put on hold for a bit to get to where I want to go? And sometimes it's okay. Hey, you know what? You might be like, I want to hit Royal Crown Diamond. But then when you think about what it takes to get there, you might be like, mm, I don't know if I want that. That's okay. Just be honest with yourself, right? Um, I do believe I do believe that if you guys are looking for a tool, right? Any, If, if you had to have one tool, um, and actually the great news about Life Steps is they're taking a lot of Richard's videos and putting them in there. So I'm so grateful for that. We're collaborating together. So we're going to be utilizing them um, until I realize, until I can see that, oh, maybe it's not actually able to do all the things we need. I'm working on simplifying and I'm working on really having every person empower themselves. One of my things that I have... Um, one of my things that I've done in the past that I regret is I feel like I have really, I have taken away from everyone owning their own business only because I wanted everyone to have success. 
I, I felt like, oh, I'm going to help everybody. I'm going to pull everybody and I'm going to do everything for everybody. So everybody has every tool they ever need. And that really kind of took away people's own power. So I have stepped back. I've had to step back and say, hey, you know what? Here's Life Steps app. You can figure out everything here. Here's one, two, three, four that we recommend. Go for it. And that's been hard for me. And it's been hard for my team because they're used to me doing everything. And so they've kind of felt like a void. But you know what? When there's a void, that's when true leadership starts to bubble up. So how did I win the challenge in 2020 with Young Living? Um, I went to work. I still have. I mean, I went to work on in every angle. I still have on my phone. I don't know how to show you guys, but I have as my screensaver here. You can't really tell. There's a picture of me and Richard. And you can't see it. It's underneath here. I made a picture of a hut with me and Richard in the hut in Bora Bora. I went, I studied their website of the Four Seasons. I looked at every restaurant. I looked at every hut. I knew where we were staying. That was my visual every morning. I had a, 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 a video I made. I did a call for 30 days with my team every day for 30 days, driving people to getting to their goals for Bora Bora. Um, like I... I did the do. And then of course I reached out to every single person that I know and talked to them about purchasing products through Young Living. And I wasn't necessarily even trying to find builders in that moment. I felt like I had done people a disservice because I was like, oh, they're not gonna wanna build. They're not gonna wanna build. So I didn't talk to people about Young Living. I still have a ton of people I can talk to about Young Living. It's amazing how many contacts we actually have you guys. It's amazing how many contacts we have. One of you asked a while back, how did you go to lunch with somebody every day for 30 or for three months? It was easy. Um, I mean, I guarantee you, you could go to lunch with that with somebody every day for three months if you really put an effort into it. And if you think you can't, then that's where you need to start changing your story because it, whatever you think is what will show up for you, right? So I could literally probably go to lunch with somebody every single day of my life somebody new every single day of my life. And I live on an island with 3000 people. Now I'm very lucky because I live near a hotel. So I could go down to the hotel and meet a new person every single day. But that's where you get to get creative. How could you meet a new person every single day? And are you guys all in a small population, a big population? Um, can you go to a coffee shop through your kids' schools? I mean, there's always a way through social media. I actually don't take advantage of social media the way that you probably could. I am way more a belly to belly person. I love connect. I mean, now, so if I have a relationship with somebody I already know, then of course I do a lot of my work online, but I love being right in front of people. I love it. Um, so that's the way I won. I just figured out what I needed to do and I went to work and I did it and I enrolled. I don't even remember. I should know those numbers. I enrolled in an insane amount of people. I think it was like 82 people. Um, and then I took a big fat break afterwards, which probably was not a good idea. Here's the thing, you guys, contests don't drive the right activity, <laughs> but I wanted to win Bora Bora. I wanted to show my team I could do it. That was really for my team. That wasn't even for me. And so, um, but what happens is you burn out after a contest, right? And that's not the point of what we're doing here. So if you think that when the next contest comes that you can go in all in, excited, win it, and then keep going, then go for it. But if you think you're going to go in all in and do wrong activity and then take a step back, that, that's not the, that's not your four-year career, right? The contests are amazing and they do create excitement, but like keep the, keep the path of, okay, I've got the long-term vision. I'm not going to damage my relationships. Like I didn't damage any relationships in my um, run to Bora Bora, but I imagine a lot of people did. I imagine a lot of things were done that weren't up and up for people just to get to Bora Bora, which is a shame, right? It does a disservice to Young Living. It, it doesn't make us represent Young Living in the way Young Living is meant to be represented, which is through caring about the person in front of us. So for me, what I did was I found a need for every single person. And, you know, I, th I, I probably, my guess is of those kits about 70 of the 80, 80 to 90 were thieves kits because every single person can benefit from the thieves, um, especially during the pandemic, right? So it was really easy. 
Um, so, yeah. So, any what what else? I'm just kind of going. Uh, is time up, Emily? Well, you have like surpassed our time, but we're all still glued to our screens. I'm so 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 grateful to you Kimmy for giving us your morning and I just adore you so much and I'm I'm just so grateful I think you fired us all up and we all have practical things we're gonna like get off this call and go and do good I, I hope it kids. wasn't too much I hope it I hope it inspired you I hope you guys know that honestly anything is possible for every single one of you so if you look to the left and the right and you say I could never be her I can't do that that's good because you know what you are you we each have our own blueprint and you are amazing just as you are so tap into your gifts and your strengths pull from others who have their gifts and their strengths and allow that to fuel your fire instead of break you down and I'm excited to watch all of you guys excel and reach whatever it is you want to achieve 